Let's get uh, Niagara Falls Mayor Jim Diodati on screen. Good morning. Thanks for joining us as we check in with all things in Niagara Falls. Yeah, good morning, Bob. Good to see you. I, I, I need your opinion, though. Yeah? My kids said this morning I looked like a disco mobster. Uh, what do you think? It's a good look. Good. I wish we right. coordinated. Just want to make sure. We, we, <laughs> kids. Harsh. <laughs> so harsh. Yeah. You're, yeah, you're looking good. good. And good, to, always good to see you on Morning Live. Hey, Niagara Falls has cropped up a couple of times this morning in the news on Morning Live. Uh, let's start with the casinos. So, Great Canadian Gaming is opening on Friday with their Elements Casinos. But in Niagara Falls, uh, casinos haven't committed yet to uh, an opening. So, no, I was speaking with uh, the president, Richard Taylor, yesterday. And they are preparing to open, but it won't be until one day next week. Uh, they've got an announcement coming probably later today. And initially, it looks like it'll be invitation only for the first couple of days, and then the doors will be wide open. I mean, it's a it's a big machine to turn on, and they need to get everybody in place. It's the biggest employer in the region with more than 4,000 employees. So a lot of people excited. As a matter of fact, it's the, probably the number one question I get from people is, when's the casino opening? Especially a lot of the seniors. They love to come down here and play the, the, the tables and play the slots. So expect for uh, midweek next week uh, that it'll probably be opened up. Okay, uh, doors wide open for 50% capacity. 50%, now remember the place can hold over 10,000 people, so it's a pretty big place, so it'll be, it'll be pretty good. And I think opening midweek, I don't think there'll be any capacity problems. I know so many people are so excited to mm -hmm. get out there again, and we are too. Yeah, excited to get that border open too. So July 21st, since you and I last spoke, uh, the chief medical officer, uh, Dr. Herji, advised against opening up on uh, the 21st, and uh, that didn't go well. Well, it didn't, but he did end up saying under uh, certain circumstances, it could be safe to open. And, you know, we said Dr. Isaac Bogich on the federal health panel has said that anybody that's fully vaccinated are at a very, very low risk. So that's all we're asking for right now is follow the science, take all the experts at the federal command table, and we're only suggesting that the border be opened in the beginning stages for anyone fully vaccinated with a proof of a negative test. We know from the science that that's a safe way to do it. I think it's a reasonable approach. A lot of people are counting on it and expecting it. So that's the position we've taken. Yeah, and, we're and you heard from people, right? There Pardon was a big, uh, you heard from people too. There was a big response to that. Yeah, I've been getting overwhelming response from people saying, listen, you're not gonna just throw the doors open to everybody and anybody. It's going to be a gradual thing based on science for those that are fully vaccinated and that can prove they have a negative test. We know from, as I say, Dr. Ian Bogich from University of Toronto, that that is the proper approach. And he's already said very, very low risk. Have you had any other indicators that the uh, easing restrictions will start on the 21st? Well, I've been having an increased amount of U.S. media that's been calling me. And they, they know, and again, not that they, the U.S. is not going to threaten us, but they have suggested they may unilaterally open up on the 21st, meaning that Canadians can go into the U.S., just Americans can't come into Canada. And that may eventually force our hand at the border. The downside of that is Canadians are going to take all their leisure dollars and spend them in the United States. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen. I'm hoping, hoping that President Biden and Prime Minister Trudeau get together and, and share the plan with us this week and hopefully to open up the border, certainly in a limited way to fully vaccinated people on the 21st. Yeah, you want a two-way flow of that money. Yes. And speaking of a tourism money, so Andrea Horvath was uh, in uh, Niagara talking about uh, the, um, the staycation credit that the Ford government had delayed. Um, she, she's really um, you know, pushing to have it instituted now. I guess the Ford government had delayed it because they thought with the restrictions, it didn't make sense to offer up a staycation credit. But uh, it, it, what's your thoughts on this? I like it. I think uh, anything that supports hospitality, arts and culture and having, having them get back on track is really, really important. So I know the Ford government's been talking about it, but now that we're going into step three this Friday, I think people are really looking for things to do. It was very busy in Niagara Falls on the weekend. Saturday, we had a we had a full city, and people are looking for more things to do. So I think it's timely for something like that. Okay. Hey, before we go, also in the news this morning with Niagara Falls, uh, some uh, council business. Uh, can you talk about the uh, proposed new flag, uh, rules for uh, raising flags and lowering, for that matter? Well, you know, we get a lot of requests uh, on a regular basis, so we decided that we needed to formalize it and come up with an actual policy because sometimes we get 
groups that are very political requesting that we do certain things. So I think tonight we're going to officially formalize it. I mean, that doesn't stop the mayor's office and clerk's office from bringing the flags to half staff or half mast. But regardless, we want to have a policy going forward. Yeah, this uh, was brought forward actually by a resident who had issue with uh, flags being raised from countries that uh, have poor human rights records. Exactly, and and I understand that. And now some of those other countries are pointing the finger at us right now too. Right. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I, I I agree. I think it's good to have a formalized policy so that we're consistent. Okay. Uh, are you gonna, is there sunshine out your office window right now? You know what? It looks like a pretty decent day, and I know I think all the Italian flags are down now. So uh, we had some, <laughs> speaking we had some of flags. Big parades. We had some big parades on the weekend, and I got to yeah. tell you, Bob, the city really erupted. Oh, did it ever. We, we were locked in with uh, fog here, but we were seeing some uh, sunshine uh, your way. Anyways, yeah. good to see you. We'll talk again next week. Always sunny to... in Niagara Falls, Bob. Always sunny. <laughs> yes. Always a great salesman. <laughs> good to see you. <laughs>